stories about the lengths people will go to desperate to find an organ donor from billboards to signs on cars all looking for a second lease on life. Well, Denver 7's Jason Grenauer found a family searching for an organ donor but also looking out for others in that same situation. Um, I used to be a music teacher. I can't do that anymore. I used to make jewelry and I can't do that anymore. And that's just the beginning of the daily struggle for Barbara Hoffman. It's about 10 hours a night on dialysis. Her kidneys are basically useless. Focal segmental glomerular sclerosis. Five years waiting on the kidney donor list and no matches. She's one of over 100,000 people waiting. Some people don't make it. They die waiting on that list. So Barbara's daughter Marlo printed bumper magnets and business cards looking for a living donor. But that's not all. If we can just make sure that this is this is the last kidney we have to find. <laughs> she also started raising money. It's called Barbara and the Bionic Kidney Campaign. But not for her family, for the University of California, San Francisco and their bio artificial kidney program. Essentially, it allows them to do the work that they're doing faster. So it just ensures that this two year timeline that they think that they can achieve actually happens. It means that people won't have to live the way I live. My life is severely compromised. It might not be for her, but it could be for millions of other people so that they're never in this situation again. Just a great, great thing. And hopefully it will work. Hopefully it will work. So how can you help? Well, if you're interested in supporting the Bionic Kidney Campaign, you can find Jason's story on our free Denver 7 app. Now, the fundraising goal is $3 million. I know that's a lot, but it would fund the program for a whole year, and every dollar goes right to the university's research.